Hey, people. How you doing? Be sure to smash that like button, okay? I don't see... We should have double-digit likes right now. And we don't have... Them. Come on, people. Make it happen, okay? Come on. Let's make it happen. Alrighty then. Thank you. Appreciate you. Awesome. Here we go. Hola, como esta? Muy bien, señor. Welcome How's to Tool everybody, Time, everybody. Too. Welcome to Tool Time. <laughs> I was watching Home Improvement today, so I got it on my mind. I haven't seen Home Improvement in years. Uh, yeah, it's well, Plus. yeah, it's on Disney Plus, and I wanted to, like, sometimes I want to put something on that I'm familiar with so I can, like, take a nap, and my I don't want to put on... Noise. Yeah, background something noise. i already seen a million times, so it doesn't keep me up. So normally I put on like documentaries, but I get so sucked into the documentary that I'm like, oh, I, can't, I can't sleep. My, so my like, show is Community. I put Community on. That's like my mm -hmm. background. I've seen it so many times. So, so. I have a gaming channel on YouTube called uh, Game Sacks. And it's like, like each video is like an hour long. And it's just like the most boringest thing ever. So I just put it on and fall asleep. And yes, Source, I got some iced coffee inside my Nintendo oh, mug. Oh, that's a nice mug. Oh, speaking of old shows, you see they put Martin on Netflix? Did they? Yeah. They've been putting a lot of new stuff, like a lot of stuff on Netflix, especially a lot of Warner Brothers stuff on Netflix. Yeah. I think the things are syndicated. No, no, they put it on Netflix because yeah. Martin has over 100 uh, episodes. Yeah. And then once you get that syndication, it kind of frees you up to do different things. Yeah. You, you know, speaking... Oh, go ahead. I'm starting to cut you off. No, I said I'm going to have to go back and rewatch Martin just because that's one of my favorite shows. Yeah, I love Martin, too. Um, so speaking of Martin, uh, last time we, I don't think we did a show last week because of WrestleMania, but the week before that, I remember we were all talking about the bad boys trailer and I remember you guys saying like, oh, Martin had a stroke, right? That was so, a stroke, a sunstroke, which led him into a yeah, heat stroke. Okay. Yeah. Heat stroke so, led him into a coma. Yeah. I, I went back and rewatched that trailer with that knowledge in my head and you can definitely tell that there's, there's certain... something. It, some of seen his speech is kind of off yeah. just a little bit. Yeah, know? just just couple. I was like, Ugh. but I love Martin, man. I, I like yeah. one of my favorite comedies of all time is Nothing to Lose with Martin Lawrence and Tim Robbins. Like oh, yeah. it's a fantastic uh, movie. What, what the bad boys is crawling under the, the beam trying to get away from the security <laughs> guard. That's one of the funniest. Yeah. Movies. What's the one when he steals the the, the blue streak? Yes, we, we yeah, are the cop. Like, yep. Yeah, that's one of my favorite yeah, movies. Martin movie. in the yeah. police department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the vent with the remote controlled car. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, man, very slow news week. Um. I we are gonna hit on the Joker two trailer too. I I totally I forgot that came I have, out. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet, honestly. Dude, I'm not even gonna bullshit you. I've seen it. Don't waste your time, man. I never. I haven't seen Joker yet, so I'm not. Little... Oh, then yeah, really? Don't Joker waste yet? your time. <laughs> <laughs> no, wow. Joker's, yeah. Joker's good. Joker's I, I, good. I, 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 I just haven't had an interest to see it. I don't know why. I just I don't know. Wow. Joker's a masterpiece, man. Yeah, it, just, it, just, yeah. just don't think it's like it's not a Batman movie. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's yeah. not that Joker. But I already seen people that troll me about Parasite going, Where's your Joker 2 trailer reaction? I didn't do it just on that purpose. <laughs> not to hate on it. The reason well, I was... mostly because I didn't like the trailer either, so because <laughs> it's a musical, you know. And, it's just... and I think I think that's why I got turned off from it because I'm not the biggest fan of musicals. There's been a couple that I like, but I'm just not the biggest fan of musicals. Yeah, you were saying there, that. I said Lady yeah. Gaga was gonna be interesting as Harley Quinn. I, don't, I, don't I think that. she's gonna be good, but if you watch the trailer, she she looks like an inmate. She doesn't look like a doctor. Because it shows her like in the lunchroom with the rest of the inmates. Uh, I think maybe she's gonna be the doctor, and then maybe get convicted and put in there because they find out she is in fact crazy. 
and then go from that vantage point. No, don't don't show that part yet. I mean, we all know that she's you know seeing us flipping, but don't show that part yet to people that really know who Harley yeah. Quinn is. I but, think they should tie this Joker in with the Batman. It would be more on they, par. That would have been the smart thing to do, but they already went and casted someone for Joker in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah they had like a little end credit scene where he, you know, he, Batman's at Arkham and you kind of see him. But, but it would have made hear, sense, or hear him laughing. Yeah, because this Joker feels Joker like the same the, tone. The Batman, like he had some kind of intelligence, he could kind of help Batman. <laughs> There is right. no way this guy here can help Batman because he is out there. <laughs> but no, but that, this, this fits the tone of that movie. Go ahead, Gus. I'm sorry. Going, going with what DJ was saying about showing, you know, Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. I think they give out way too much shit now in, in trailers. Way I usually just watch the first trailer and that's just, it. Yeah, I used to watch trailers. Yeah, I have to do that. I watch the first trailer, a teaser trailer, and a trailer. That's all I watch. And I don't watch no more. They have you to know? do that because if not, people get because it, it got such a bad taste in their mouth. Top, let's just say something. Star Wars put something out. Star Wars put that one thing out about um, I can't think of the show. I collect, I collect, and already it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck. It's gonna suck. They have to try and do things to try to combat that, and sometimes they may give away too much stuff. But then sometimes, yeah, but yeah. pack. It's like when they was doing the Ahsoka, they showed a lot of stuff, man. But Ahsoka, to me, I thought it was, I thought it was fire. Warner Brothers is really bad about spoiling stuff because when Shazam two came out, they spoiled the Wonder Woman cameo. When Black Adam came out, they spoiled the Henry Cavill cameo. Yeah. They're See, really bad at Warner Brothers about spoiling and, stuff. And, and talk about X-Men. I'm kind of mad about X-Men 97 this week because of what they spoiled in their trailer for this week. I, they they spoiled uh, their shit in the intros. Yeah. Their, yeah, their, yeah, mid, yeah, their yeah. mid-season uh, their mid-season trailer? Yeah, yeah. I was kind of upset about I didn't that. Watch I, don't, it. I didn't watch I, it I, either. I, I haven't watched it, but everybody was posting about it, and I saw it on... Twitter. And I, I just saw like, a shield of it. Captain America. That's yeah, that's why I, I, I wish they didn't. Well, thank you. I didn't see that. And now <laughs> you spoke. Welcome, welcome to my misery. <laughs> but I'm like, that would be more, you know, now I know it's coming. It's still going to be, oh, that's cool, but not going to be that aha moment, you know? Like, wow. It's, it's, the it's, only it's, person I seen, a company I seen, they kept it lip tight. I had no clue Luke Skywalker was going to be on The Mandalorian. I didn't have no clue. To maybe the day of somebody said something like Mark Hamill, but before then, didn't have a clue. I, I I had that spoiled for me from drunk because the week of that came out, me and drunk went to uh Starbucks and got coffee and he said he knew somebody that was on the set that tipped him off and I was like, Fucker, bro. Fucker, <laughs> fucker, fucker. fucker. I hate I hate when they like on IMBD they put the cast and you'll see like who's gonna be spoiler in it as you know the actor that you know. What was that the something they have to do? What was that in like some kind of rules or regulations? Yeah, it might be, to... yeah. Yeah, they have to do that. But I'm the same way, Rob. I try to not watch as many trailers now because I want to be surprised and awe, ah, you know, as much as possible, not just going knowing everything. Before I used to watch every trailer back in the Marvel heydays, I was watching and dissecting every trailer. Now I'm just a I watch a teaser in the main trailer. That's it. Yeah. Goscar, can you do it the honor, sir? Curse Justin Monty for five American pesos. I think it goes without saying that this week's episode of X Men. 07, I think you wanted to say 97, was extremely <laughs> emotional. <laughs> Thank you ahead. so much for that super chat. I appreciate it, kindly, sir. Wow. <laughs> okay, you got Mickey Mouse on, on the panel. Yes, sir. I, 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 I. <laughs> Mickey Mouse sounds... What was that? <laughs> that wasn't... That sounded like <laughs> it was a first prostate getting clicked. There it was. <laughs> you are the age now, Rob. Get a prostate check. Uh, when you took... Uh, like you, you stuck one of them balloons. Yeah, helium. Uh, helium. Yeah, yeah, man. Just, to, just, yeah, man. This episode was really good. You know what I'm thinking about all this whole series that, and the way it's storytelling is happening, that whatever comes cinematically, in the MC ain't gonna hold up. They ain't gonna hold up. Huge I was freaking from, bar. He'll, like, he'll dry, yeah. said, why won't the animated team and the live action team Please collaborate? Consult with just consult with them because <laughs> right. they, they did, the DCU was was light years ahead of the live action movies because yeah. they were so good. Now they kind of going down, and the last one wasn't. Well, Marvel could. Warner well, Brothers didn't because it was two separate divisions. Warner Brothers could because yeah, all a, technically umbrella. Kevin Feige's over everything Marvel, so they could. the The problem with that is one, they fired the guy who did this. Hashtag and, bring him back. <laughs> yeah. And, and the second, and I don't understand. Okay, so could we didn't do a show last night or last week, but we're we're praising how great this is, right? Because it's so true to the comics and stuff. And then 
they went ahead and cast a female server surfer. And I'm like, do you guys not pay attention to the internet? Like, you have this thing that people are praising. Some people Dude, say I, this is the best television show on right now. I'm I, one, I'm one I'm of those one of people. Them too. I'm one of them. Like, 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 that is the best of, minutes of TV I've seen in years. Like, yeah, this yeah. is my American favorite streaming animation. show right now. Yeah, American animation. I mean, right I'm being greedy. I want I want an hour episode. <laughs> to hour. Yeah. I, I, awesome. I, I, I think I've watched it four times now. That I watched it three. I yeah. watched it. I, I watched, watched it twice. Three. But I just fast forward all of it. Get to the and part. I watched that. Yeah, that last that last what ten minutes of it. Yeah. But but see, I I watched the whole thing three times. But this is the first thing that I've actually went on YouTube channels and watched people's reactions to Me it. Too, yeah, I've watched. I'm like, I'm like, man, I want to see what these people react yeah. to. So I watched all the episodes yesterday with my wife, and the last, like, right with that moment again. Had, had, had she watched them already? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I looked at her, and she was like, swallowed deeply there at the end, and she's like, okay. okay my friend, my, my friend, who doesn't really know anything about X Men, she watched it. I told her, watch, you know, watch it. She's like, that's good. And she called me. She's like, I'm over here bawling, crying. I don't even know these people. <laughs> she's like, you got to be crying over a cartoon. <laughs> That's good That's writing. writing. That's writing. That's good writing right there. <laughs> I sat there yesterday on the way home with my wife in my car, and I, I looked at her. I'm like, babe, I know you don't like art, like cartoons, but I'm like, you need to watch this show because it's just a good, good. show. And um, I'm going to try to talk her into watching it, but man. And like I said in my review, that the reason why the show is so good is because they do things that would happen in real life, like like, like the Gene Gray stuff, right? Like, 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 like any other show, once they resolved, oh, well, the clone's going to go bye-bye, so we're not going to talk about her no more. Gene is just going to be Gene now, and everything's going to be kumbaya. I thought we were going to see her again, honestly. And yeah. Her, I was like, okay, we're doing But this. it would make sense because he had a baby with her. Yeah. Of he course, has, he's he going has to more make... connection with her yes. than actual Gene because they have a yeah. child together. Like, but, but, Everything that's going on in that relationship, and then the, the love triangle with Rogue and Magneto, and then Jean Grey kissing uh, Wolverine. Wolverine. This yeah. this is all stuff that you would believe real people would be going through. And Scott, like, and Scott's anger manifesting him getting mad. At yes, and everything is just that's real life. <laughs> yes, a hundred percent. And this is something that a lot of not not just American cartoons, but other TV shows like Disney Plus. For, for example, how many times were like, oh, Ezra, they, they finally found Ezra and there was no emotion. None. No, I, don't want, I, don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about yeah. it. I don't want to talk yeah. about, like, like, about like, it. God damn it. <laughs> like, like, Why are we here? Yeah, like, I'll so where, yeah, where, where's Ahsoka? Oh, oh, forget about that. Where these How'd people actually have the conversations. Ahsoka was doing backflips in space. On a yeah. <laughs> well, like, and like, even, I honestly, I think Magneto has some of the best lines. That makes you think in this entire series. When he said, "What did what he said? Uh, something about leaders. You know, all terrorists aren't leaders, but you make." Oh, you know, that was an wild, amazing wild, line, like, man! Like he made he had some bangers of lines. You know, it's yeah, like, man, he's right. Like, Maggie yeah, because right. she's like, she's like, uh, well, we don't normally elect uh, terrorists, terrorists as leaders. Then yeah. he's like, then why are so many of your leaders terrorists? And I'm like, oh, mic drop, bitch, oh, right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Truth Dick hurts. Cheney, did you hear that? <laughs> I mean, so, so it's like, I mean, Damn. and that's the part where Mar the X Men is woke because, like, they're touching on social, political, you know, family, everyday people's problems, but they're doing it in a way that makes sense and it reaches mass. They're giving it you know? to you in small little doses. They're not like it's not shoved down shoved your throat. It's thick. natural and organic, and that's yeah. what people. Like I always say I don't have a problem with. I hate the term woke, but you know, woke stuff. <laughs> You know, being in media, but it's how you present it. You know, is what matters. You mean, All right. and they're doing it right. I need Basically. everybody to hit the fucking like button now. Man, that's freaking scared me. <laughs> Mason Clark came in with nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I have read DC's Injustice comics and recently Marvel's Civil War comic, and now I realize that both are very similar stories: heroes fighting each other. Which is better comic in your opinion? Well, well, first of all, thank you, Tyler, for that super chat. I appreciate you. you. Sound like Sandy Cheeks from uh, SpongeBob. <laughs> That's what you sound like. Sound like uh, what's the, what's the clock on on uh, 
Oh Logan. yeah, Mr. Uh, yeah, what's the um the, the clock name? Miss Minutes. Miss Minutes. Oh, Miss okay. Minutes. <laughs> um, so I read I read both the I actually read the Civil War comic book as it, it was out. being yeah, as yeah. it was coming out years ago. I remember it was like a major thing. Yeah. And um, I remember going every month. That was the early the 2000s, next, right? Was, right? Yeah, very, very early 2000s. Five, uh, six, yeah. Yeah, because that's when, like, like Complex was like, I, I was at a Complex for many years, and that was got me back in. Because I remember that was when Aunt May died because of Peter Parker revealing himself and, in that, issue yeah, two. Yeah, that was a big, and, big um, issue. Yeah. yeah, so there was a like, lot of stuff going on in comic books back then. Um, I did not like the Civil War storyline. Uh, I no, I I like the idea of it. I don't got think, too it, it, it got, yeah, got too convoluted. especially at the end where they kill Captain America, yeah. and then you know many years down the line you find out he wasn't dead and everything, yeah. and it, it was just a convoluted mess, just like most comic book storylines. Um, so I actually thought the movie did it better because they really simplified it and, and made it more simplified. Um, but it was almost the same ideals, you know, that, except for it's on a smaller the, scale. Yeah, because in the yeah. comic books, um, a school was blown up by a mutant by, an, by, by amateur heroes. Yeah, because they, yeah. they, they were filming like a reality TV reality, show, yeah, and yeah. it blew up the school, and it, it was just convoluted and mess. The movies did it yeah. much better. As for Injustice, I read the comic books and the movie. Uh, they're very the similar, um, or the comic books in the video game. They also made an animated movie of it too. But uh, I much prefer the video game than the comic books. Of I that would love too. to see Injustice on the big screen. Yeah, but they got to build their world first before they can do that. Well, they got it in Brightburn. They can, they can Brightburn. Well, Brightburn. I mean, Zack Snyder did use some references in BVS in that because uh, he had Superman come in and like rip his like arm through Batman's chest and stuff. So there was elements of that. Yep. I didn't read uh, Injustice, but I played the game. The game was cool. I think the game was better, in my opinion. So and Civil War, I read the book, and then I read the comics later on. The novel? There was a novel yeah. of it. Yeah, they put it all in one a novel. Yeah, and there's an audio book too now. Really? So, yeah, I read it. It's audio, and it kind of like, it's like it's a cinematic audio. So like they have like the sound effects and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. Hmm. SFK second account. A dollar ninety nine. How's Adam doing? Has anyone spoken to him recently? That's... Thank you so much for that super chat. You created Kyle, sir. I I have no comment on Adam. Um, just I have no comment on it. So he's yeah. breathing. Yeah, I don't have he, his number, so I don't know. He, he's alive. Mm -hmm. That's all we know. Many of you guys have him on Facebook. You guys probably know he, how he's doing more than I do. So you let me know how he's doing. Am I, dude? I have the worst wire management on this computer. I swear. <laughs> Cable management, man. I have my my comic book box. <laughs> I'm hiding all of it. I have two of them I, stacked underneath and all my cables. I, I, I have to read ties all your I, friends, I, buddy. Zip so, yeah, ties yeah. all your friends. So zip I had ties, a, man. I I have like like five hundred things of wires. You need to buy those sleeves. Buy the sleeves where you zip uh, up on them. It, like, yeah, I I had cool. those too. I got I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six video game consoles. <laughs> That's why. Plus my know. Elgato lights, my two yeah. monitors, my computer, my microphone. Like, dude, I got a million lights. Dude, I, million I, watch, I watch a lot of little setup channels. And I'm like, how do they do it with all these monitors? Like, keep. You don't see a wire. I'm like, there's no way I could do that. Like, I watch those videos all the time. I'm yeah. like, I will pay somebody to come somebody do come this. Do it. Yeah, do it it's me. so clean looking. I'm like, <laughs> man, it's it's crazy. It's 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 very expensive. Um, what's it called? It brackets for your monitors. Yeah, to put them on have the like integrated. Yeah. Like, either you can put it down the tube that goes down to your desk, mm -hmm. or they have these clips that you just strap it on the, the back yeah. of it. Like I want to, I want to rearrange my room, monitor. but I don't want to do it. I, I know the cable manager I gotta do. I, it's I, like I, I, I haven't done it. It's like what I did for this one right here. See this one right here. I can like, I can yeah. move it around. I bought a whole. Uh, when I moved into this apartment, I bought a whole kit, like a yeah, wire right. management kit, and I bought Same like thing. those those plastic things that you can hide the wires underneath your yeah. desk. And bro, <laughs> I mean, dude, it's, they're alive. 
<laughs> I, I, I can't believe I'm, I don't have a fire in this house because there's so much wires <laughs> everywhere. I got like I got like these footstool ottomans blocking it underneath my desk, <laughs> and that's the best I can do. Because I got I dude, I got like three or four HDMI switchers. Yeah. So it's just Shit. it's a and also well, like this room well, it makes this room, sense with all this room gets so hot in here. So, so I have like I have a fan in the corner over there. I have the AC, I have a ceiling fan blowing, and it's I'm like it's always warm in my in my game room. Dang I'm dang I'm dang. I'm gonna get this one, Rob. Ryan. Uh, yeah. Ryan Newsom, five dollars. Adding, adding with what you guys saying, trailer ruining view, viewings remind me of Batman versus Superman trailer showing Doomsday. Exactly. Yeah. So I was, yeah. I was watching some old movies. And you know how like some old DVDs a few weeks ago. You know how the yeah, how the trailers in the beginning so different. They didn't show anything back then. You know, they had an announcer talking about it, you know, not showing actual clips from movies. It's like, in a world. Just when you, th- <laughs> yeah, in a just world. When you think you were safe. <laughs> yeah. One boy, one man. You know, it's like, it's like yeah. I miss the old days. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you this wire management because I just. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's looking down at his crotch area. Let me show you this wire yeah. management. You got a rat like, down there. Uh, uh, yeah, let me show you this. This is this is crazy shit. And believe it or not, it actually looks worse than what these pictures are because that's not showing like the wires on my desk. So there's two pictures here. Yeah, I remember when I when I first built my stuff, it was all nice and clean. And I started adding stuff to it and taking stuff away, and I was like, I'm like, I'm just hooking it up now. That's not that bad. I've seen I've seen worse. Oh, I've seen worse I've seen that. worse. I've seen worse than that. That's not that bad. That's actually not that bad. I've seen worse. <laughs> you see, I got one. like I got the switcher here, the Elgato. I got another oh. switcher up here, another right. switcher over here. Double double sided tape and one of those like uh, hmm? wire mesh things you, you attach under. Yep. It. It'll hold all that up. Yep, yep, yep. That's all you need. And a couple zip ties. <laughs> Yeah, you get to those you get a bunch of zip ties at Costco, all different colored ones too. Yeah, different sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it, it gets me mad too. because if anything happens and something goes wrong, find, find the wire. It's possible <laughs> to figure out what the hell the problem is. Oh, we got another super chat coming in here. Well, um, before before you read it, before you read it, come on, guys, smash the like button. We got fifty people. 50 people. Let's go. No. Is it me or does his audio go right off when he uses that? It does. I, th- I, th- I think it peaks yeah. out. It peaks <laughs> out. Why? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my god! Uh, right, right, dude. Five dollars. Anyone watch the Fallout series? I haven't finished it, but my fiance, who is a big I've Fallout fan, really and good. I have been watching it. It's awesome so far. Yes, I have one. Thank you so much, right, dude, for the final super chat. I agree. We appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I finished it last night around three in the morning. My wife kept waking up to go to the bathroom and she's like, Are you still up? I'm like, show's <laughs> still on. But they're, they're I, I started watching hour yeah, episodes? eight episodes an hour long. Um, I binged them all day yesterday and I finished it last night. The last episode is phenomenal. Because it explains how everything went down, and then it leaves off on a cliffhanger. So you're like, "Holy shit, they better do a season two. I'll tell you what, because a lot of people are like, um, you know, um, oh yeah, uh, definitely, guys. Car, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Retro Rob said it's his first time being in here, so I appreciate you. Sorry, I just wanted to get to the super chat, but but Retro Rob, thank you, sir. I appreciate you too. Um, the Fallout series is I'm not I'm not the biggest Fallout fan. I played the games, but I never like dive deep into the games. But it it's awesome. It's and he and this is a great example of having a female lead and a black lead and not feel like it's being forced down your throat. Okay. You know, you can do it, you don't have to force it down people's throat, and that's the perfect example. A lot of people are like, Well, you know, what's better, Fallout or Last of Us? Look. I mean, they they both good do TV. different things. Yeah, good TV, good TV. Yeah, I never watched. I, I, I never played. Can't be worse game. than Halo. <laughs> I never played the game, and it took me honestly uh, two episodes and a half to get into it. 
my my it's wife like, second half of the third episode the last half that's when i i got hooked and the rest just that's, that's my watch for this week i want to actually do a reaction to it I, i'm mm -hmm. i like I, i've played a couple of games i think i played fallout 76 a little bit and maybe with las vegas well uh, new a, vegas. a little new vegas i play a little bit of those so i'm not like like rob said i'm not like the lore yeah. and all that stuff like i'm like so with halo i was like to nitpick it and stuff this one I'm going in blind so i want to like as feel how it is for someone who doesn't know the game to go into this the show so i'm gonna ask yeah. you like a reaction to it so i'm gonna sit down this week and watch the episode every night this week so my my wife was watching it with me for a little bit but she didn't look like she was liking it at all so i was yeah. like okay well we'll watch something together and then we'll go back i'll go back and watch it on my own so when she laid down, we went to bed like around 10 last night. She was laying down. I was watching it in the room and she, she kept hearing it. And she turned around and she's like, okay, now you got me investing in what's going <laughs> on here. <laughs> but it, it's so good. It's it, it's so like it, what's is it the writing? Is it the the the, the, the visual? Is it the it, it's everything? It, it has the humor from Fallout. But Fallout is not it's like not, a yeah. It's not it's like The Last guy, of Us where it's super scary. It's yeah. yeah. Um, but it, it does the game justice. And that that's that's really like I think right now video game properties are sort of doing the incline with adaptations. You got the Sonic movie, the Mario movie, Last of Us, uh, yeah. Fallout. Halo season two is much better than season one. But um, still needs a lot of improvement, in my opinion. It still needs a lot of improvement, but I, I still think it's like I, it's, I it's, I think now we're on Halo. It, it should get better next season. Yes, I yes. I think it should it, get better. I, I think with Halo, at least they're taking it serious. They they change a lot of stuff, but it's not like the Uncharted movie or the Tomb Raider movie. You know, they actually take it serious. So I thought Last of Us or uh, Fallout. I thought it was phenomenal. Um, even the special effects, you can tell like the CGI is kind of low budget, but it works for the world. Mm -hmm. And it does help that the characters are, are lovable. Like you love the characters. Like like the girl Lucy McLean. Like yeah. like she's cute. She's funny. She's like the fish out of water. And then you have the uh, the guy who's the the you know the the tag along partner. And his story is really interesting. And again, it's a female character and a black character in the oh, movie, geez. and no one is yelling. Oh, this is woke or this is nothing because it fits the story that they're telling. You know, that just shows you you can do it and do it right. And, and the writing is great too, because the way they and and the flash, the way they do the flashbacks, how it's built. Did you finish it, Gaskar? Yeah, I finished it yesterday. The last I episode is great, right? Because they they uh, they all the story threads come together in the yeah. end. I, and see, I remember I, I, I like shows like that where you get pieces and pieces, and it all comes together. Then you know, yeah, yeah because you know, a lot of the flashback stuff, yeah. a lot of the flashback stuff feels kind of weird because. You have a character who was at the beginning that takes place in the 1950s. The bombs go off, and then it says like 200 something years later. But there's a character still alive, and you're like, "How the hell?" And they're doing flashbacks, and it's not until the last episode where all the threads get tied up. And I'm what's like, good "Oh, about, what's good about stories to do that is like it makes you go back and rewatch it to see the connections." Oh, like, oh, that's why that happened, or that's why. Shit, I downloaded Fallout Four today, bro. Play the game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's that's one thing that hasn't made me want to play the game. That's the you like Starfield though, right? Yeah, it's studio. Bethesda. It's but Bethesda. It's the same studio, but I don't yeah, know. Like not, Starfield not wasn't a game that I usually played, so I played it and I played the shit you out. Think of we'll it. Get Star, you think we'll get a Star? They will get a Starfield movie or show. But I don't know because the storyline in Starfield is like, yeah, the, the Starfield the, the story I feel is contained for that yeah. where Fallout. There's hundreds so, of different vaults, a hundred different yeah. stories you could tell. Starfield yeah. is it's just a space story. Yeah. Sort of like Skyrim, right? Like you could tell an Elder Scroll movie, but it's just an adventure yeah. thing, you know? Yeah. Danny, did you get how how far did you get? Because I know you started watching, uh, you said. You don't have Fallout? Mm -mm. Oh yeah, Evan. Oh, I thought you said you were I think you would like it, Danny. I'll probably start watching since y'all talking about it. So next That's week good. I have something to talk about um to join the conversation at this particular point, but um, yeah, no, I'm not a gamer like Keller, so I mean, it but really see, you, you don't need to be a gamer to watch it, that's the good thing about it. Same thing with like Halo yeah. or Last of Us. I've never, I never played the game, Danny, but the, the story after like first two episodes, you get into it. In. And a lot of people were like, what you were talking about, right? Because there's a transgender <clears throat> in the game and then yeah, in the show, and a lot of people like that did throw me off. 
<laughs> it did. When I started watching it, I was like, eh, is it a he? Because you're supposed to be in the brotherhood, and then right. you got a so sister a here so with, a, with a five o'clock shadow. And then I was like, is that like a thin, you know, musketeer type mustache he got going there's on no got going. i wasn't sure i was off and that there, there was no point in the world where you can confuse that person as a man but they're only like in the first two episodes and then in the last episode they're not in it long yeah but it was just so I, I know of a few uh, youtubers <clears throat> that for them because of what how strongly they are about that stuff that just turned them off of the whole series and it's a shame i i series it's, I it's, get it, but I'm like, come on. I mean, this is a world. Yeah, you believe what you believe in, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It sucks yeah. because what comes after it was a, it's a great story. Yeah, it's a great story. I mean, that that person's role, if you would add all eight episodes, that person might be in the show for like 15 minutes total. Yeah. So a, out of eight hours. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, got another super chat here from Mason. I'm, let me go get my chip monk voice ready. Mason Clark for four dollars and ninety nine cents. F. Murray Kill, B Brie Larson, Rachel Ziegler, Kathleen Kennedy. Please explain your reason as to why for your choices. This, this is just a fantastic question. I can't wait to get to this question. Thank you so much, Mason Clark, for that five dollars super chat. I appreciate you, kind of, sir. <laughs> it was like I'm, it was like I'm in a diner. Great, great, great <laughs> question. Fruit cake for real, boy. First of all. 100% kill Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Uh, second she's that. ugly. She's annoying. She's not fuckable. I sure as fuck don't want to marry the bitch. Ooh. And just because of what she did to Star Wars, the bitch should be dead. Hey, baby, can you give me some more coffee, please? The bitch should be dead. Um, So that bitch, dead. <laughs> Brie Larson. I hope your wife Brie Larson. Like, You're not talking about me. <laughs> I, 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 I would marry Brie Larson. I would marry Brie Larson. She's wifey material, right? She's not like super hot or anything, but you know, she's a good down actress. to earth, gonna, down to earth person. She's down to earth. Yeah. She's gonna bring some money, right? Fine. Rachel I Ziegler. I will. I will hate fuck that bitch. <laughs> I hate her so much, but I would hate fuck her. Okay. It's like, bitch, I'm going to give you some seven dwarfs dick. I would, like, I I would, would do th some ballad of the songbird. <laughs> I know, man. Some ballad of the songbird. Rob is... Uh... They, they paid me to ask, answer the question. I answered the question. My, they they <laughs> answered the question. Read the question. <laughs> you better check that coffee, man. Put some but Mary Kill. It's going to have some serious diarrhea after. <laughs> you want money in the savings, right? <laughs> you want money in the savings? You know, oh you know, five drops. Oh, oh someone's going to be know, sleeping right? in the couch, you better, you better check that, that coffee real quick. <laughs> yeah, man. Drop a couple of, uh, drop some Visine in there. Yeah. You ain't, yeah. You ain't fucking no racist it around me. <laughs> I, I would hate her for a coffee. What the fuck? I would hate fuck her because she's cute, but I hate the bitch. I but hate her, but she's yeah. cute. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Kathleen Kennedy, there's no universe where that bitch lives. Well, there's somebody that loves her somewhere. Her husband, and I bet you even he doesn't love her. It's oh, about the money. money. <laughs> For the money. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, there's wow. the answer, Mason. What do you say? <laughs> Mason, man. You got your answer. <laughs> Man, that's like uh, old nah. Storm's live days, man. Yeah. I ain't joking. Man, there was a time when every night, <laughs> FMK, FMK, FMK. You know, we would have like six right. of them, man. We would have to show <laughs> pictures. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who is this again? Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think there was one where even like, it was like three it was transgenders. It was cartoons, kind of all kind of crazy stuff. All kinds of crazy shit, man. Anime. I don't know why he would put Kathleen Kennedy. Well, I guess it's three people that the internet don't like. Yeah, I guess. So. Yeah. Yeah, of the three, I think Brie Larson's the less hated. <laughs> yes, I, I don't hate yeah. Brie Larson. I'm I, not I, the big I, fan of her, I, but I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I don't hate her. Me neither. She's a good actress. Yeah, I think she's good. As long as she wears the Captain Marvel costume in bed, I mean, it'll be fine. <laughs> Man, it'll be fine. Yeah, what else we got going on? Uh, Joker, we hit on it. Um, you know what? Joker 2 might surprise. I think it might do well. The only part I didn't like was him laughing continuously in the courtyard. Okay. Oh, man, I'm going to spill my coffee out. Um, But a point I wanted to make up with the Joker here was the. I know DJ didn't see the movie yet, but at the end of the movie, you can argue how much of it was real and how much of it was in his head. 
that kind of takes away a lot of the stuff you see in this trailer because as I'm watching the trailer, I'm like, well, how much of this is real and how much of this shit's in his head? Yeah. Because yeah. Lady Gaga is a, a troll and she's attracted to him. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why? So maybe he's in his head, want a love interest or something. I don't know. Cause I, that was like, mm. yeah, I kept looking at him like, how the hell did they escape? Is this in his yeah. head? Like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot They're of in the prison of their minds. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got flash packs of Sucker Punch. Like, they're, they're, they're like in their own little stories in their head. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I'm watching it now and it's, it's pretty decent, the trailer, man. What is it's a pretty like? decent, yeah. Mm. It's just one of those movies I feel like didn't need a sequel. I agree. Yeah, unless they tied in with Batman and they aren't able to do that. That's what yeah, they, and my man would have made it made sense. That's my. That's they how I feel try. about Ghostbusters the movie. I like. I think they should have just ended ended it after Afterlife. It was perfect. Yeah, they should have started. They should have started this last one. I, have, I haven't even watched yet, but I'm hearing a lot of negative things about it, so I would have stopped. We got a super chat coming in from Eli Thomas Thompson. Sorry. Eli Thompson. Thoughts on the reveals in CinemaCon? Thank you so actually, much, Eli, for that final super chat. Thank you, Thomas, sir. I didn't even Speaking check of, those things out yet. I didn't, I didn't check that either, man. Speaking of that TMT last Roman, it's confirmed, Rob. Yeah, but I, I when they start Wait, filming, the I will believe it. The rated R one, right? Yeah, when they start filming it is when I will sit down and I will it's believe be it. Live action or animated? I don't know. I, hope well, well, I will action. say I don't, whoever, whoever did that that whoever did that little three D one of Leonardo fighting and Donatello fighting. Yes, ago, if they do like that, I will definitely watch it because that looked really good. Did you watch it? I think I sent it to our, to the Hangout uh, thread on X of the the, the AI of uh, Thundercats. Uh, I, I, know know. I, I saw it. Yeah, I didn't see it yet. <laughs> If they That's do that, freaking fire! If they do that, I will definitely be in the theater the first night. So there was four new photos, photos for Captain America, Falcon, Winter yeah. Soldier, Captain America, whatever it's called. Um, there was four photos shared of that. It's basically just Sam with the shield. It could have been taken from the show, and we wouldn't even know. They changed um, the logo they, for Thunderbolts. Yeah, they they, <laughs> they changed the worst. They, they made the logo worse. Yeah, it went from they're great fun. to bad. Yeah, yeah. Went like, okay. but <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know that asterisk at the end of it. I have a feeling at the end of this movie, it's going to be the freaking Dark Avengers. Yeah. I think they're, that's yeah. where they're trying to do. Yeah, I definitely think the asterisk means something, Sorry. but that font was awful. Awful, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Like somebody do, do on a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of um, course, you're a YouTuber. <laughs> Rookie mistakes. And then you had the TMNT last Ronin. It's supposed to be live action, it says, according to this article. Okay. Live okay. action rated R movie. I Look, movies get greenlit all the time, and they never go into production. They well, greenlit I, a Metal Gear Solid movie f 10 years ago. I think this might be legit. Remember to come out that game, too. So I think they're going yeah. to it's gonna no, be. I, I mean, the only problem I, with this, though, is like TMT has always been well, kind of family friendly, friendly for the most part. The first movie mm -hmm. was a little, it was dark itself. I don't care what people say. That's a dark movie. Oh, that movie was dark. Was dark. You know, second, third one, more comical and everything. Yeah, the cartoon shows, but I feel like you're gonna lose a big chunk of your audience because you can't take your kids, your little so, kids who so, love Ninja Turtles, after have come out the cartoon Ninja Turtles. So now you're going from cartoon to straight yeah. art. Not only that mention, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt right. your merchandising too. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly, and 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 not only that. Like the TMNT movies haven't been making money anyway. The two Michael Bay movies didn't make a whole lot of money. The and then the new, the last the one, new okay, one but not, not yeah, they did okay, but but even after the second one, they're like, well, we can't make a third one because it's not making that much money. And then they did the CGI movie that Seth Rogen developed, and that didn't do that well. So yeah. you put a rated R on it, you're gonna cut that in half now. Now I think parents are still gonna bring their kids because it's Ninja Turtles, but. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, this dark. You read the comment. It's dark. It's not it, happy. Yeah, there's, not, there's nothing happy about this at all. At According all. to a Hollywood Reporter, it is going to be a live action and an R-rated mm -hmm. movie. 
Yep. Yeah. So that's that's the article I'm looking at right now too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I, I did not like that last one because of the animation style. I didn't, I didn't like I didn't, that I, one. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't I, watch it, was, it. I, it was weird. Um, but <laughs> it was, they I, made all they made all the villains good guys. Yeah. That was you know. Good, but, I, that, was, that's the problem. The ending was like, where do you? Go? You had no bad guys to fight except for Shredder. Like, but and then the Ninja Turtles went to fucking high school. Like, what the fuck yeah. are we doing here? Yeah, I mean, I'm and, I'm interested in this um live action because I'm going to see it. Cause I'm a big TMT fan. Oh no, yeah, I'm going to go see. I, it I love the last Ron, Ronin Cart uh, comic, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see it. Um, it's, like I said, kind of going back to the first movie. You know, that wasn't rated R, kind of darker tone, but this is extremely darker tone. Like, yeah. So. There was also the Pool and Wolverine, I think, main main trailer on that, no? Was it? Yeah, I, I saw that, know. Justin Monty, the, the transfer with G.I. Joe movie. I was confirmed. You want to read the super chat, uh, yeah. Cascar? Justin Monty, $5. Thoughts on getting a Transformers crossover, G.I. Joe crossover movie. Thoughts of it? Thank you so much, Justin Monty, for that $5 super chat. Thank you, Kamala, sir. I ain't got too much hopes built on that because I was really had my high hopes on the uh, on the uh, Beast Wars. Snake Eyes movie. No, on the, no, on the Beast Wars. <laughs> they good. look good, but yeah. it was uh, it fell flat. It was like it was yeah. laughing. Yeah, some parts. I mean, the way Optimus Primal yeah. looked, he was true to the cartoon, and the way they looked was good, but. The story I, I thought the Beast Wars movie. I, I'm I'm with you. I feel the same way you do. I felt like it kind of fell flat, but I like that movie more than I like the Snake Eyes movie. Yeah, I agree. I, I remember when that movie came out, man. We went and did a live stream, and Danny was on there, and Sharif was on there, and man, they had me at the end of that. I was like, yeah, man, you guys right. This movie was fucking awesome. And then like the next day, I was like, oh no, I was wrong. They had me drinking the Kool Aid. <laughs> Parts of that movie, the guy that played, I, I was happy about that movie for certain reasons because I watched the Bruce Lee movie Warrior. If you watch mm -hmm. Warrior, the guy that played that became Storm Shadow was Warrior, mm -hmm. and he is a phenomenal uh, martial artist. So I like, I like Storm Shadow story. The Snake Eyes story, I didn't like. I didn't like at all. That the villain was the the main. Yes, man. Yeah, that movie, that movie didn't that make one. no damn sense. Yeah. No, no, I, I was all psyched about it, and I rewatched it like uh, two months ago or something, and I was like, mm. eh. but it was like, like you were saying, Danny, it's Storm Shadow all the way during that yeah, whole Storm Shadow saved it, whole and they turned him into a bad guy over stupid reason, like you're exiled, like yeah. I was doing the right thing. Meanwhile, the actual criminal, the actual bad guy, like, yeah. Larry, yeah. I was like, what the fuck's going on? And you see him with the freaking armor at the end of it. Yeah. That's just another yeah. reason why I said. People can be redeemed no matter what bad things they do, they can be redeemed. Yeah. Yeah. I think or it's just kind of bad writing. The best G.I. Joe movie is G.I. Joe the animated movie. <laughs> That's the best yeah. G.I. Joe movie. That's it. I agree. I like uh I like Re Re Revelations or the one with the rock and Bruce Willis in it. I like that one. It wasn't bad. Uh, I mean, it wasn't great, but yeah. if I had a I like how they did Zartan. The actor that plays Zartan was cool. I would like to see the two twins, um, Ty Mac, and I can't think of the other guy's name, but the two twins you know, they, got, they got Thomas, uh, Thomas, and, and Zay Mac, or something like that. Something like that. I oh, love to see them in that because they were two, Shifty of my two of my favorite villains in uh, in the original in the cartoon. Mason Clark with another four dollars and ninety nine cents. Do you? Ooh. Gun DCU will catch up financially to the MCU. If yes, will it affect the MCU badly? If no, what could Gun do to do that? Man, you're jumping like it. The they ain't catching up. No time. Thank soon. you so much for that yeah, super you, chat. Got they got a mountain to climb. Thank you. you. Marvel has to stop just, doing I, everything. I can describe it to affirmative action. Uh, <laughs> affirmative action. Okay. I want to hear, yes. hear it. Is. I, I want to tell, right. tell you how it is. Uh, people that don't. Need a firm action are so far ahead of us. The ones that do need a firm action that we will never catch it, never catch it. A firm action will put you a little bit closer away from the starting line towards the finish line, but you will never catch it. I got a hot take on this one, so I want to go last. Um, okay, so Max case, and Zaymont, that's your names. Uh, DJ, go ahead. Uh, like I said, I think Marvel has to literally stop what they're doing yeah. for five years, and that's how DC will catch up. I don't think DC would even catch up now to what the all the money that MCU has made. I don't think that well, 
like MCU I mean, is gonna have to have like a real slow like decade. for like the next 10 years or something. Decade. And MCU <laughs> has right to have now. and the DCU no, has to have a good 10 years. So yeah. what we've had what uh three four, and no no not not, not not good 10 years, a great 10 years. 10 years. Like, yeah, like exactly. You think Kevin Feige ain't in the lab working now. To try oh, he's to staying back up. You're crazy. I mean, how many yeah. million dollars? That's why we got a female silver surfer. How many Marvel yeah. uh, billion dollar movies do they have in that 10 year span? You know, uh, they they sure. averaged a billion. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, so that's a lot. But yeah. this is it. This is this is DC's DCU's moment for their cinematics to do it right. <laughs> Start playing that Eminem. <laughs> yeah, one shot. One shot. So, yeah, one shot. <laughs> I got a hot take on this one. So I don't look at it. I don't look at the question of. Oh, when everything's all said and done, we'll make it as much as D- like, like I'm not counting Marvel's past. Like that money's already made. You're not gonna you're not gonna catch up to that. It's already that's like so that's like having a raise and letting the guy take a two mile head start. You're not gonna catch Danny, up. Danny was talking yeah. about so, Danny so was talking I'm about. not I'm not looking at that <laughs> as 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 financial. I'm talking about when I think financially, I'm thinking like if both movies come out the same year. Are they around the same box office financially? Yeah. That's what I mean by are they financially caught up? Um, whether ba- like like um, Aquaman two came out right, didn't make as much money as Guardians three because they came out the same year, not even close. But I think in the future they could be closer, and I think that DC has the potential to make more than Marvel. And the reason why I say this is right now DC. They're starting with a clean slate, right? James Gunn, he, he started over Marvel. He knows all the right things to do, and he knows all the right th- and the wrong, wrong things not to do. He has the insight of it, whereas right now, Marvel can't get out of their own damn way. And, and, and Danny's like, well, Kevin Feige's working on things. Yeah, they just announced a damn female Silver Surfer. That's going very well with PR and the internet right now. It's like they can't get out of their damn way. They are so focused on their social politics that they forgot to tell good stories. And as, and eventually, you keep doing this, you're going to lose your fan base. You're going to lose your fan base. You you saw how the Marvel movies were making less and less and less because people are starting to give up on it. Whereas DC, they now have a fresh start. The casting is very good. This is all going to really you know, come down to how good is that movie when that movie comes out. But if they keep up the fundamentals and just focus on good story and staying true to the characters, then they have a possibly good chance to go. Marvel has done nothing to give me any confidence that they're turning the ship around because you go and you cast Fantastic Four. You cannot fuck up Fantastic Four again. They fucked it up enough. And then they turn around and go, we're going to cast a female server surfer. And then for the people that want to fucking defend the shit, they're like, oh, no, it, it, she's, she's in the comics. We're not just... We're not gender swapping. She's in the comic. Man, shut the fuck up. You know damn well that that female Silver Surfer shouldn't be in the fucking movie, but yet you're doing it anyway just because of social politics. You have Lakeith Steinfeld, who went in for audition that could have knocked the role out of the park, but you want to go ahead and just gender swap just so you can appeal to these fucking number games in your goddamn studio for all your shareholders, and you can have good marketing and PR on Twitter. It's fucking bullshit. Stop with this shit. There's no defending this shit. It's, it's fucking over with. Like, they keep fucking doing the same stupid thing after stupid thing. It's like having a kid that keeps doing the same thing and you punish them over and over and over. And yet, Take little fucking belt. Jimmy still gets in your fucking porn stash and you just want to slap him. Wow. Wow. You didn't get her up? <laughs> uh, what was in that coffee? Holy it's shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> cocaine, cocaine oh, coffee. You've seen cocaine hey, there. We've seen cocaine I, I get what you're saying, Rob. I, I'm not as, you know, angry about it as you. The whole female swatch and everything. But I, like I said before, you have to go with what the general masses know. You know, because you, you're trying to pull in people who aren't severe comic book fans or, you know, comic book nerds. Most people don't know that there's a female silver searcher, sur- silver but- surfer. But they know from the previous movie about Silver Surfer being male. You know, if I ask the average person on the street, they say Silver Surfer. They're going to say he's a guy on a surfboard, he's silver. You know, 
So <laughs> on that point, I think maybe you should have cast the male, you know, to get the general audience. Cause now you, you kind of rebooting Fantastic Four again. So you want to have the basic characters where everybody knows, the general public knows to bring them in. Can, can I ask you a question? How good? Okay. If, if James Gunn would have casted, casted Lex Luthor as a woman, how well do you think that would get over for them well, trying wanna... to reboot their franchise? Yeah, I, I agree. But all it's like, a it's like there's not a female Lex Luthor up in the comic book. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't have this female Silver Surfer without the actual fuck. She's the wife of Silver Surfer. You I, can't have I, one the without only, the other. The only way that I think they can save Grace with this is at some part when they introduce this Silver Surfer that we, sh we explained to her, them, the audience, that they were married and something he was killed or whatever. But That's we, why she's taking over. I'm and getting more mad too. about this, and mm -hmm. I don't even... Go ahead, Denny. In the in the can I research this? I never heard of a, a silver a silver surfer being a female until I went back and did some research. And there's a part in the comic books I'm not sure which one it is that there there were twin surfers, twin heroes at the same time. We don't know whether or not they're trying to introduce that, and maybe she may she might get killed in the first five ten minutes of the movie. And then the Danny, silver surfer. Do you think that's why they're casting a female surfer? Surfer? I have no idea. They I'm of the mindset, Rob, and, and this is your opinion. This is my opinion. I don't have the same vigor and energy that some people have when they see initial things. I like to see things and talk to them yeah. intelligently once I've seen it. Then once I see it, I may be on the same boat as you, but right now you're on one boat. I'm on the other boat. I don't. I'm not a a comic book enthusiast as deeply as you are, but. I went back and did my research, and there is a storyline, and there have been people in the past in our community that saying, we're tired of seeing these same old stories. We want new stuff. We want new stuff. We're tired of them creating p characters. We want stuff that's that's in the content, where they're giving us stuff that's in the content. We No, they found it. a loophole. There's a difference. Well, whatever you want to call it or name it, I'll classify it as, that's your right, but I'm just saying, until I see it, then that's why I can say, yeah, this is agenda based. This is stupid. Blah 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 blah. But Let right me ask now, you a I'm question. Gonna, I'm just gonna sit back and, and hope that it's good. Let me ask you a question. I want you to be dead honest. Okay. For a second, I want you to pretend you're Bob Iger, and you have to answer to all these people on the and, and me, like I'm on the board, Goscar's on the board, DJ's on the board, and we ask you, how come that movie failed? And yeah, every every time a new movie comes out, we have to go to you. Why did that movie fail? Why did that movie fail? Right? Like, like these, these it, it's not like these movies are being successful, though. There, there's one I can understand doing things different if you're being successful. Pixar is failing, Star Wars is failing, Marvel is failing. You have to eliminate the common denominator. Force feeding social politics is the reason why these are failing. You are alienating alienating your core fan base and the people that you're trying to hinder to aren't watching your shit. So you can throw all the fucking homosexual shit in there, all the race swapping and gender bending, those the that, that that's not bringing their communities in. You're not bringing in those communities. So as you're Bob Iger, how many more times are you going to have to sit there and defend yourself when you have to say my job is to make money and we're not doing that right now. I get that. That's part of the explanation too, but another part yeah, of the explanation I, that you're leaving out is that the writing has not been good. These movies, the writing has not been good. It's not been the same quality as the first three phases. If the writing was good, I believe that some of this stuff would get a pass or would be better, but the, the writing on top of, of, of race bending and gender swapping is just feeding more energy into the people that don't like that particular style anyhow. If the I, writing I agree, was good I, I agree, or, or much better, then some of this stuff would cure itself. I agree with I, Danny because the first phase, the first three phases, everything was connected. We aren't connected anymore. We're just a jumble mess. So I feel like, like Danny said, if they're going, if they were going to do that, the writing is not up to par for that stuff. To you look at XP ninety seven, they're doing an XP ninety seven right now. All the social yeah. politics, all the gender stuff, and everything. But the writing is so good, people who, like you said, Danny, would normally I'll be on the horn complain about it. They're letting it pass because but, it makes sense. That's right. But the same thing we just said before earlier, Rob, with Fallout, right? We had that transgender in there. Yes. Well, my yeah, new. Right you're, you're right with the writing. 
I don't have but a problem with it. The, the, we're talking the about an stuff. animated cartoon that is a sequel. So they it's a cartoon. If that was live action, how many of those characters would have been swapped out for different races and different genders if it was live action? I still don't think it would have mattered because if they had the same writing, I don't think people would be mad about it. But 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 the first but, three phases didn't have like they didn't make Rhodey a female. They didn't make they didn't make Red Skull a female. They didn't change, like, they didn't drastically change, like, they would do, like, the ancient one a female or something like, like, these D, like, how many kids uh, uh, grew uh, up uh, watching? What else has been race swap that's this big? Even, like, a lot of different, different things. They, 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 do, well, not, not as, not this big, not this big. This will probably be the biggest, the, the first but big the, thing, right? The thing is, Danny, Danny used to watch all these old cartoons back in the day, right? Back when the old Fantastic Four cartoon, Silver Surfer was portrayed a certain way, right? How many you get like one chance to get this put on the screen, and then you just completely change the source material, right? I'm more mad about them changing the source material than they than I am them gender bending, yeah, because that's, like that's, not, why I have, that's why I come into conflicts like the source material. If, if 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 you change the character's race or gender, but it still makes sense. For the story, I have no issue with it at all. But when the thing, it's the fact that the source material is being changed down to its core is when I have problems. Like you know, like we talked about Halo. Why is Master Chief having sex? You know, stuff like that is what bothers me. The thing with Fantastic Four, though, it's already started. It started on a bad foot because of the controversy mm -hmm. with everything with Pedro Pascal being casted as Reed Richards, with everything that's been that happened with the, the Mandalorian and. The whole Gina Carano thing. So there's a lot of, you know, back stuff about that, you know, with the whole politics between the whole social media <laughs> things that wasn't fair for him. And she did the same thing and she got crucified and he didn't. So that in itself already had a negative, you know, pull with the movie. Now you go on with this. I get what, you know, Danny and, and DJ is saying. And I even said it if the writing is good and many people don't know, well, like the normies that are going to go see this movie, right? If the writing is great, they're not going to care if it's a woman or a man. But for us that were deep rooted into the comic books and we already seen the previous movies, that's the character that we know to see. And like Robert said, that's those are the main fandom that go in to go to see this movies right now are pissed and they're not going. And the little people that they're catering to are not showing up to see these movies. So Kevin Feige really has to like take a step back and, and like you know and work let's just say out. I like, guys, girl, I don't mean to cut y'all that this female is in there and she's the hero for whatever, but then some way she gets killed and then they replace yeah. her with the regular silver surfer that we've seen. Yeah, no you're right. And why was she in there first? Why that why might, put her in there in the first place? That might be the setup. You but know? but you and you don't know what the setup is. I mean, that uh, but be also. Okay, I'll, let's let's use your example. What if it's amazing writing like X Men ninety seven? How good is your writing if nobody goes to see it? I if, but, if you're alienating the fan base well, and they're like, "Well, I'm not going to see this," well, then it doesn't writing, matter how good your writing, writing is. Writing, 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 writing will bring words of mouth and people go see it. Exactly. No, nah, no, nah, you can only alienate Talk your fan that, base so much. That's happened to so many movies where people, oh, I don't care about, it, but then they, they go to see it. Godzilla minus one example. That had zero, and the word of mouth got out, and it, everybody. Said yeah, but movie. that's different. They didn't alienate nobody beforehand. Well, we're talking about like word of mouth, yeah. though. It's like, yeah, you know, no, I'm not talking about word of mouth. That that was a movie that was an original movie. It wasn't part of a, a major franchise. It was his own Godzilla movie that stands alone on itself. This is part of the MCU. You have already been throwing social politics in your movie, the pie chart. Your your numbers are going down, and then you 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 went ahead and made Silver Surfer for a woman. There's going to be a group of people, no matter what the reviews are, that aren't going to go see it. So if a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? If it's a good script. How are you going to know it's a good script if nobody's going to go see it? Those Rob, people have, have they, never... had their mind made up already before they even hear a thing about it. Once they hear that, that's no, my point. A lot of people already yeah. have their minds. What made I'm up saying, yeah. you that's never, my point. Have you ever not said I'm not going to watch that? Then you come on the show maybe with us or somebody else that you trust. What's that guy you see you always watch? Sure. Carl Off or something, like whatever. Mm -hmm. There have been plenty of movies, and Guy Score, I give you a plain example. I don't care for zombie movies, but he told me the thing that Zach Sandler made about uh, whatever it is, Army the zombie, of Army of the Dead, and I liked it. There have been plenty of times on this show, like you just said, it's not. I don't care for Fallout. So those are different examples, though. You're picking original movies. 
That's not part of a franchise that has been alienated. You're talking about you don't like zombie movies, but you heard good feed feedback, so you watch it. Okay, that wasn't a part of a franchise that is losing money like this. It's not going up. It's going like this, and they're alienating it. Yeah. So, not, but like not the franchise, the company. Well, 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 but like, how many people are excited for the acolyte? We're gonna watch it, but we're not excited because our expectations have been kicked through the fucking mud. So it's, uh, it's no longer it's no longer. Oh, I'm excited. I'm no, like, I'm curious. Yes. I'm interested. They don't get like the that, benefit but, of the doubt anymore. But, but going to like what, the, the 10 years ago thing, it, everything was new back then. The first free, that was all new to us. <laughs> now, like I said before, it's oversaturated. I guess people here see, we're tired of it. They mm -hmm. they need to take a break, honestly. That, I've been saying that they're, for they're a year. Taking now. A break. They've only got one yeah. more this year. Yeah. And Star Wars is never gonna lose <laughs> is never gonna lose this. Oh, I it's Star Wars. It. Somebody gonna go. We all, everybody on this planet, are going to go see Star Wars the first night. Yeah, and we ain't the only ones in this planet. Well, you like, we like, like your hate it. You, well, we you like your hate it. I'm going to go see it. the next Star Wars movie. I'm going to see it, and I'm probably going to flood that the rest of my days. Yeah, but um, that's not everybody though. But it's a lot of people. What, they ain't never what, been. A, is there a Star Wars movie that made under eight hundred million dollars? Other than Solo, Solo. <laughs> other yeah, than that, Solo was one, one out of what eleven movies blacklisted. Yeah. Yeah, so it was. Well, go ahead, guys. Out out you gonna say. No, uh, like, um, Shifty Brain on a grip point. Um, you know, it's based in the 60s, this movie. Yeah, so this female server surfer might not even make it into the current time MCU. You know, so what Danny's saying has has a good potential. I, I'm not saying Danny doesn't have Danny no, no, DJ's I'm, point. I'm, just, I'm not saying you, I'm not, I'm not attacking. No, you. no, I, I know they, their, their point is completely valid. If it's a good script, no one's gonna care. The I'm just arguing the point of if nobody goes and sees it, who cares how good the script is? Okay, yeah, because we'll have a solo movie. We all know, we all know there's a certain group of people, and that group is getting bigger every day no, that they do not care. They have lost faith in it. You know, and it just it is what it is. It is no different than a TV show that goes 10 seasons, right? Like, like, I'm gonna use Walking Dead, for example. Walking yeah. Dead was hot for the first three seasons, and then they started fucking up, and they lost the fan base. And then their fan base by the end of the last season was less than half of what it started off with. That is the same thing. This there, it's a franchise that's going down, and you could have great writing, excellent writing. For look at Black Panther. Black Panther two did. I would say Black Panther two was a phenomenal movie. Just well, has great writing. It's not as good as the first one, but it's phenomenal writing. Didn't even make nowhere near as much as the first one because people had their beliefs on what they felt felt about it with Chadwick Boseman, and they stuck to that belief. It was less than two hundred million dollars from a billion dollars, though. Yes, but the other one made over a billion dollars, Danny. Yeah, but I, know, I understand what you're saying, but I'm saying it's just a couple sneezes from making. A but it dollars. didn't make the same. That's the I, point I, I'm trying I, to make. Though. I always hate the billion dollar mark these days because a billion dollar isn't the. Almighty, that's a good for, movie for Marvel. You, at one period of time, I, it at was. one period of time, but now it, that's. But that I'm not using the different. money as an example. I'm using the money as a measuring. That yeah, that means that X amount of people did not see it because of their beliefs. Yeah, you have to go back. You got a good freaking movie. Yeah, you, you have to go back. The billion the billion dollar mark now is an anomaly. You can yeah. you have to go back. Right from the beginning, uh, after the pandemic, there's hardly any movie that hit the billion dollar mark. And but I'm not, not. I'm not that, talking about the dollars, though. I know, I know, but I'm not saying it's not about the movie, how good it is, or anything like that. People in general have stopped going to the theater the way they used to go mm -hmm. because there's so many other ways to watch. This is, their this is true. Well, why go to theater where I can wait to see what people say and, and then yeah. stream it in a yeah. month or two? And why you know? go to the theater when I? And it's pay a if you I got a family of five. I know I'm gonna bust a hundred dollars all over the way the economy the economy is down, people don't have the money. Now people, I can wait people don't have the money no more and stream that for 10, 12, 15 bucks, and then I can watch yeah. eat what I want to watch exactly eat what they want to watch. Yeah, so that's what's hurting them too. They gotta find some way to tap into <clears> that. I don't know how they're gonna do it. I don't know how they're gonna do it. Yeah, because they, these, these are the all they points that, that yeah. makes my point. Yeah. These are all factors that make my point. People are going to the theater less. The move the, the MCU movies have not had the highest quality, and yeah, yet they're not so you need to do something extra to get people into the seats. 
But, but controversy isn't doing that. I agree with what DJ is saying. If they take a year off, maybe two, I think it'll whet the appetites again. Because right now, the longer I don't see a Star Wars movie, the more I we want to see it. Exactly. Well, so I think they need to, two years off if they could. Um, like you said, and you have a valid point. I mean, that's your opinion, Rob, um, about the, the female Silver Surfer. I'm just of the mindset on any movie. I'm not going to go out here and say, oh, I look at something, it's trash. I'm just not going to do it. I have to look at something to it to make an intelligent um, conversation or opinion about it. Then, if, and I've said before, I've, I've been wrong about plenty of movies that I thought was going to be fantastic. And Rob and other people say, no, nah, that's going to be. But I just I just can't look at somebody. Like, mm, I don't know. I like I like to look at it and then make a fair assessment of it after the fact. Look, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not going to go see Silver Store. Uh, I'm going to be there opening weekend <laughs> because I like Marvel and I like like I like the Fantastic Four. I'm not arguing me. I'm arguing the people they lost. Yeah. Is what I'm arguing. It, it's my counter for that, Rob. Not saying you, but it's like I'm at the mindset now where I'm always I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on the fence. I'm gonna wait to see what happens where you know on all this social politics and everything. Because like it or not, you can get mad about it. It's here. It's in yeah. our culture now. Mm -hmm. And you you know we can say the same thing back you know 50, 60 years ago about certain things. Oh, that was too oh, a, a a black guy, a white guy, and a, and a black woman kissing on Star Trek. You know, yeah. that was, oh, my God, you know. Yeah, so, you know, look at that. That was controversy back then. But, you know, so society has evolved and changed. This stuff is going to be here whether you like it or not. So people just got to get used to it, you know. Yeah, my last point I want to make on this. Um, this platform has a lot of power. I didn't think it did in yeah. certain aspects. Oh, yes, it does. But if certain, but if <laughs> certain people say things. People run with Positive it. or negative can sway you one way. And then, I don't know whether, the, I can't tell you the, the exact percentage negative versus positive, but I can tell you this after going on the show, if DJ or Guy Scar or you say, Yeah, you might want to check it out. I might check it out. Normally I'd be like, man, I ain't, I ain't but I trust your opinion. And if a lot mm -hmm. of people start trusting other people's opinion, and then sometimes even if y'all don't say it, like I'll give you an example. Rob didn't care for um Godzilla versus um oh. Call. And I was I was picking I was picking at him in the, in the comments like no <laughs> to me I love that movie I'm ready for the next one I want to see how Kong goes over there and takes over and becomes King Kong for real and and how he makes that that uh, empire run and stuff I'm ready to see that Godzilla not so much this was really more of a Kong movie versus Godzilla but I think a lot of people if they trust in us and we make good assessments then they'll check movies out they normally wouldn't check out yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Rob said, I think the 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 major the smaller group, the hateful group, has a louder voice than the actual positive people. So it does have an effect on certain things. Like when, you, when it comes to like us having opinions and swaying people, so the people that complain and cry usually are the loudest ones. So they sway more people. Am I saying it's right? Am I saying it wrong? Is what it is. But the thing is that the small minority group is not becoming. It's becoming bigger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're and they're gaining even more traction because now they're on multiple platforms, not only just YouTube, they're on yeah. like Rumble they're and being, other ones as well. They're also being proved right more often than not. 100 percent Because a lot of these when we started YouTube like three, four years ago, a lot of these channels that were hating were like, Oh, they're crazy. Oh, they're crazy for thinking yeah. all yeah. this hate, all this hate. And the 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 big corporation was treating it, it was proving them right over and over again. With these drops and these, but you could tell you could, you could tell when someone's pandering to a certain demographic, mm -hmm. and when someone's not trying to be organic about it. It's the pandering I have a problem with. Um, I have no problem with you know diversity and all that stuff. Never have, never will. And like I said, it's, it's how, how you present it. It's how you present it. One hundred percent. You know, it depends. And like I, I, I can't say this is a bad thing or a negative thing with this female super surf because all we know is it's a casting. You know, see, I, 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 I honestly thought you and Danny would be more upset because they literally took a job away from a black actor that could have played the role. <laughs> <laughs> that dude is a class act actor. Yeah, I, I agree. Even Lawrence, if, 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 suck, I, if, I, if I had to, if I had to pick, I would have picked him. But Lawrence Fishburne killed it the first one. Yeah, I mean. Hmm. All I know when I do the Gargoyle movie, they better have what's his name play. Um, 
A Goliath. Goliath is gonna be a chick, bro. Then, 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 then you'll see me do my channel all the yeah, damn yeah, hate yeah. They, they, they mess, they <laughs> mess up Goliath. I'm gonna be like, okay. I'll be I'll be one of those channels then. So. Yeah, if they make Goliath <laughs> Goliath, I'm gonna be like, okay. Yeah, man, yeah, I'll be really mad. <laughs> oh, but it's gonna have good writing, good word of mouth, people. You're gonna love it. Some things you are, some things you aren't. Like I've always said, reverse psychology me now, bro. <laughs> like, I've always, like I've always told you, you go back and watch my videos. There can never, in my opinion, be a white black panther. It just cannot happen. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I don't agree. care how good the right. Okay, is. all right. Let, let me tell you. I disagree. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. I disagree. Doesn't make sense. I disagree. Brother, You're breaking my dreams, Danny. Stop does it. it wow. Does it change the core of the character by changing their race or gender? That's when I. That's that's that's. What about Blade? Blade could easily be a white person. Do you know what kind of outrage there would be if Blade was white? <laughs> Daddy's face is like, stop right there, Rob. Blade, nothing about Blade's race factors into his story I at mean, all. You're right, you're right about that. If they would cast a white man to play Blade, yeah, he'd, be white. To pay. he'd be, he'd be light-skinned. <laughs> there would be hell to pay, and you know there would be hell to pay if they casted a white guy to do it. I, will, they'd be like Spawn I, just, I just have to black, say this. White. <laughs> for all those white people out there, I'm sorry. You'll yeah, never be Black Panther, been... <laughs> according to <laughs> these people. You cannot come to Wakanda and be the king. That's yeah, what yeah. yeah. You're from an African No, Black people. But, what if, the but what if there's like a white family that moves to Wakanda and lives yeah. their generations? Colonizer. Colonizer. Then... They colonized. They colonized. Yeah. Colonized. I mean, they colonized. They colonized. <laughs> That's that moved. The colonizer moved in. in. Can, move in. Be a, a you could be the colonizer <laughs> panther. Yeah. 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 Hey, <laughs> we're going to do an X-Men movie. We're going to make Bishop white. He's going to be white. And he's going to be a white. Female, we're gonna make Bishop a white female. White Storm, Storm, she's gonna be from South Africa. She's gonna be gringo now too. No. She's gonna be called Tormenta. That's, she's gonna be Hispanic. All right, guys, this is getting off the ro the road now. Let's finish this up. Danny, where can people find you, sir? Oh my goodness. Who uh, I mean in Wakanda? Uh, no. Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays on my <laughs> show. The uh, the rule of oh God, Lord. <laughs> got me all messed up. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, the road to wisdom. Also tonight, I'll be on Low Key's channel. Me and I are going up on a versus. It is rapper versus uh, rapper and um, artist combination songs. So if you're not doing anything, we'll be going on in less than 45 minutes. So please tune on the Low Key channel, Low Key Cave. Cool beans. Gaskar, thank you so much for reading the Super Chats. Where can people find you? 8 p.m. at the Basco Scenario for the Hangout. 8 p.m. Eastern Wednesdays. Join us. I want to see people there. So, yeah. Today. And DJ, where can the people find you, sir? You find my channel, Duncan Black Guy. Find me on Wednesday night with uh, Gaskar's channel. 8 p.m. here on Sunday nights. That, uh, that Make Me Laugh video did pretty well on your channel, I see. No, it always does. I got always a question does. for you, Rob. I Are might have an answer. You seen the new animated Good Times? Oh god! I didn't know there was an animated Good Times. It's on Netflix. I saw the trailer Is it? for it. I, I don't I'm, know. I, it's I, kinda, I'm I saw not, I'm not an episode of it, it. <laughs> and it's kind of like uh, Boondocks. That's the Damn, is it? Yeah, but Boondocks is Boondocks. They they Boondocks was they pushed the envelope back in the day. Bro, they got a scene where they having sex in there, and it's it's pushing the envelope, buddy. It's pushing it. <laughs> See, I I love good times, man. I don't know yeah, how yeah. I feel about animated that, good yeah, times. Like, like some things you don't touch. That's how I feel about it, you know. Yeah, like, they're showing this on a cartoon. It's not for kids. I didn't oh, know man. that it was like, no, it's it's on Netflix, Netflix. new Netflix. animation. And next thing you know, when I was on Dark Console, that the, the, they they said it's based on the show, show. back in. So in, it's just it's retelling the show over like a continuation no, from like two generations. Uh, 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 oh, so it's it's connected. It's like their kids, their kids or their grandkids or something. Yes. Oh, and like one of them, he, he's martial artist, just like Huey and Huey and um a boy oh. was. That doesn't Dude. sound good, man. Oh, yeah, you're not so, selling right now. You know, I'm, saying, I'm saying if you like Boondock, it has shades of Boondocks. What, what if you like Good Times, though? <laughs> yeah, because Good Times was nothing like Boondock at all. At all. At all. Yeah. At all. I'm telling you, the animation <laughs> is more like Boondock. Okay, gotcha. Whether, okay. Whether, okay. Is that your yeah. cup of tea or not? That's your, that's your decision. But the animation reminds me, the closest thing I can compare it to is Boondocks. 
Uh, no, nah, I, I like good times. I think I'm gonna skip. That. I think I might. I, I might be anxious to listen to this one. Like not not ruin something for me. Yeah, <laughs> I saw like three or four episodes. Of good times. Back to the one thing. Reference. Everybody like uh, the Fresh Prince, but I'm telling you, Bill Air is fire. I don't care. I heard Bill Air is fire. It's more dramatic. Bill Air is yeah. fire. I haven't watched it. I like Fresh Prince, but <laughs> you I have no like interest it. in I a. One I, I have no interest in a drama heavy Fresh Prince. <laughs> I like I like my Carlton dancing man. Yeah. No, um, so thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back next week. Um, I got Storm Nation coming on in about two minutes, so uh, stick around for that. Thank you guys so much for everything. Appreciate you. Peace out, sauerkraut. <laughs>